welcome to watch high res in this video i'll be reviewing adidas dive diver watch which is looking like a rolex uh, submariner which is a classic rolex style if you don't know it uh, to make things faster i opened it already this is an opening box but the content is the same so we have the warranty card we have a long user manual here quite long we have adidas dive branding so it was on the watch of course and we have a pin remover so we can adjust or take the pins out the buckles out so that's it rest of the foam is keeping the watch in steady position the content is quite good if you ask me this watch is only 35 dollars Yes, you heard me right. This is a $35 quite cheap watch. But let's find out what's the cash of $35 Rolex Submariner style watch. First of all, this is a quartz watch, not an automatic watch. For $35, we can really accept this. I think I can accept this and I already did and purchased the watch. 200 meter of water resistance, screw down crown and the bezel it's looking quite good. Loom is enough for the price and I think it's on the dark side when you light it up it's quite good looking. The brush around the edges, polish side panels or sides and the logo on the crown is impressive because we got a logo some of the seiko that I, models that i have don't even have that so it's a good thing to have chinese are into this thing so as you can see at the back we got logo and it's quite good looking like a hunting diver style and we got minor adjustments so i can really adjust this is a pressed and uh, for the 35 dollar i'm not expecting a stainless steel the price is quite good for me for the price double luck is okay since this is a diver watch how it looks on the wrist let's start with the look then go technical i haven't obviously uh, arranged it to my 18 centimeter small wrist it looks decent not perfect not bad either so i can accept i can live with that and the black dial seems clean simple enough as you can see, the bezel seems quite good. And let's turn the bezel. Yeah, sounds and movements is quite good. Let's take a look at the second mark. It's missing. In detail, I watched it all along. I don't want to keep the video long, but it starts the missing the second mark at the six o'clock and then it miss until the one o'clock let's watch it will also miss the 12 which is a problem for a lot of watch lovers yes it's still missing it's gonna miss and it's catching after the one to the six it's going to hitting the mark exactly as it is as it should so it's a quite okay watch for $35, more than okay, if you ask me, because the only competitor for this level of price is $49.50 Casio Duro. And nothing can, I think nothing can beat the Casio Duro. That's why everyone says it's the price performance king with the 200 meter quartz and good quality, good build quality. The only downside of the uh, Casio Duro is it doesn't have the stainless steel bracelet it only have uh, you know the elastic bracelet or silicon bracelet so it's a diver watch you can accept that but for the price it's it's one of the best watches that you can buy so if it if it's going to be your first or second or third in your collection and if you don't have the Casio Duro instead of this watch I would go for the Casio Duro What's the catch of this watch other than not hitting exactly after six, the second mark? The catch is the bracelet doesn't seem expensive. It's moving and it's making sound. Yes, every bracelet will make sound, but this feels cheap and light. So being light is a problem because if the watch is heavy in the case, 
but around the bracelet it's too light so it's give it gives you like a casio edifice style bracelet if you're a watch lover you know what i mean by now but when i mean by casio edifice or cheap casio style bracelet this feels cheap even though it's filled inside stainless steel with the pins in it it doesn't feel expensive so if you're moving to the territory of uh, something like a, looks looks like a rolex you're also getting into the territory of invicta style automatic watches by now if you haven't heard of invicta invicta also does similar homage or replica style maybe let's just say homage it's better in the year and invicta also makes seiko moment automatic watches so you can purchase probably 59 to 69 dollar when the discount times comes uh, seiko nh35 and also um, diver watch just like this one from invicta it is double the price this is 35 dollar in the discount so why am i referring to that well it's not too much of a money from 35 dollar to 60 dollar because you're going to get seiko nh35 automatic and you're going to get better build quality and better quality bracelet which is important if you ask me because brace if you're not going to change the bracelet and uh, the bracelet itself is a money so quality bracelets are also expensive probably they are around 25 dollars when they uh, they are sold separately so you are also paying some amount of money to the moment that you have from seiko which is Japanese and this also has a probably Japanese quartz movement but you're also going to go automatic and the uh, glass back so if you haven't watched my Invicta Pro close-up shots in the channel one of the first videos probably uh, so watch that watch closely and get back to this one uh, those watches from Invicta hits always the second mark correctly the casing finishing is a little better. Uh, I know price is higher, but you can find discounts anytime at Amazon, anywhere. So with that uh, on a side, let's just weight this thing. I'm not expecting too heavy since it's a quartz watch. It's 156 grams. Not too light, not too heavy, like I said. The case is heavy. The main part is heavy. Compare it with my Citizen Echo Drive bracelet change. As you can see, this is an industrial bracelet. And this is looking like a, um, the Leatherman tool style bracelet. If you're wondering, I also reviewed this watch. Let's just measure this one. 185 grams. Considering Citizen Echo Drive drive diver watches are too light considering any kind of diver watches the weight comes from the bracelet so this is a light bracelet i can accept that for the price like i told you so measure it it's around 40 millimeter 40 41 depending on how you measure it but i say 40 41 when we include the crown of course the size will change to 45 Yes, it's around 45. And the bracelet starts from 20, goes to 17 and a half. Yes, probably 17 and a half. So starts from 20, goes to 17 and a half. Let's just take this aside. And thickness. Of course, I'm not taking the dome of the date. 12. 12 and a half we can count it at 13. So, so the values that the company gives are correct and i think this is a good quality 200 meter quartz watch if you're into a submariner design and it, on the wrist it looks good enough decent enough i wouldn't purchase as a first watch and in total for the specs that it has that you see in the on the screen 
The only competitor that I really bought a couple of watches from is Steel Dive. The Eddie's Dive is producing dive style watches and Steel Dive is also doing the similar thing. But this Steel Dive has a Seiko uh, moment inside. This is an automatic watch, Seiko Tuna style. So it's not uh, ideal to compare these two watches. This is three times expensive than this watch, but still the high build quality and general bracelet quality is quite better because i have uh, several still dive watches and i reviewed in this channel uh, you might be checking those out if you're wondering so you can't double or triple the price of this watch and buy a probably near perfect watch for the price but if you're going on a too many too much budget way like this is a casio price and not even a good cost your price this is a cheap cost your price you're going so by going cheap cost your price i think this is a quite good watch for the price but i am going to do is to change the strap to a leather brown one to create image of hamilton khaki style a field watch and also some sort of a die watch combination sportive and dressy kind of occasion I think I can use this watch, but I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this watch later on because this, I'm not a Rolex guy. Uh, before this watch, I purchased also Invicta Pro Diver and I used it around one and one, more than one year, I suppose. And the Invicta build quality is quite good. And in the end, you can find $50, $60 or $69 good Invictas with automatic movement. Seiko moment inside with a glass bag. It's up to you whether you're going to go for $35 to $60. But around that, for $49, you can go by yourself a Casio Duro, which gives exactly perfect timing because of the quartz moment. No missing out. You don't have to, uh, you know, open the watch, everyone. And then when you leave it around, because automatic watches have all these issues, this is a watch to buy, but I'm not sure where this watch sits or finds its place in the market. I think this video will give you enough information if you're ever wondering, trying to purchasing this $35 bargain style watch. Was it a bargain? It was for the content, for the box, for the build quality. I think it is a bargain. But am I be keeping it? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think at the comment section below. And if you find this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. All the watches that in this channel I purchased for myself. And then later on, if I don't like the watch too much or I don't use it that much that often, I sell them and later on in second hand or not even using. So your support is quite important for me. And the knowledge that I share is only to give you an idea if you ever want to purchase this style watch. But the general build quality in this video, like you've seen, it's quite good for the $35. You can't even purchase a Casio Edifice quartz watch for this price. But this build quality, it is much more than a regular Casio. So it's up to you what you want to do. Hope to see you in the next video. Watch hard as bye. In the end of the video, I just want to add one of my racing straps that I haven't used maybe more than one or two hours. And as you can see, it looks way better than the original bracelet. Strap just gave this watch a much more character. And like I said in my earlier videos, a strap can change uh, of the characters of a watch pretty much and this is also a rule for any watch but it looks way different way stylish in my opinion considering the cheap style looking bracelet this is much more interesting looking watch i know it's not hamilton khaki i know it's not the best strap for the diver style watch but it's becoming like a camel or if i just put my racing gloves with the same color of this brown this watch looks good. It may not be perfect, but it could be suitable for different type of straps. NATO straps could also 
be weird with this watch and don't forget this is $15 or $20 range of strap and the watch is $35 so making this looks will get you for around $50 to $55 and I'm not sure that's your budget and by getting to that watch it's more close so you can purchase a Casio Duro and alternative watches too. Just think about this. This is not a bad watch, decent watch, and becomes better if you have spare straps or bracelets laying around, just like me. This is the problem of the bracelet. That's why I'm talking about it. It's feeling cheap noises that it makes also movement that it makes